Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. Blessed is his holy name. Blessed is that name that is holy. For he is holy. God bless you and I thank you for being here today at Measure Bank Worship Center here in USA as well. We pray always for Measure Bank Worship Center in India, Pastor Abu Magapu and his his wonderful family. As uh, yesterday was his wife's birthday, we give a shout out to her and God bless her and, and I hope that she had a wonderful day, which is uh, that was Saturday and this uh, it's almost Monday there. <laughs> They're waking up to uh, to Monday already because they're 10 hours ahead of us and, and stuff but, but God bless him and God bless the great message that he had as well today for, for Sunday so Sabbath and he, and he delivered to the people and that because that's what he does he's a good man of God he does the will of God and that's what we're here today to do as well to do the purpose of will of God because we are servants of the Most High God. And that's what it's about, being a servant of the Most High God. I, this video will be a little, kind of late in the afternoon video because uh, it was real warm this morning. I uh, turned on my air conditioner a little late and it, but it was a real, it's been, this has been some hot August. <laughs> this has been a real hot August. And, uh, but you know, uh, God will make a way and it, when it seems to be no way, just like we talked about last week, it, it was about a hope for giving and merciful. It was about a hope and we talked about how, how in, the, in the wilderness He still provided for them even when they sinned against Him. They, they reviled against Him. They murmured against Him, but He still provided for them. And that's what He wants to do for you today. But you got to know Him. And I'll give you that opportunity at the end of this message to know him as well. And but this message today is a little bit different. You know, that's not gonna be as long, I hope. <laughs> I'm trying to cut it down because uh, so but so I can still get it on Facebook and YouTube because that's what I do. You know, I put it on Facebook and YouTube. I'm not scared of I'm not scared of somebody somebody you know, if you want to comment on comment on them, I can listen to comments. I can add, I know how to answer comments. You know, I'm not afraid of the comments. I want you to share them as I share them. Because it's all about sharing them. Because he shared, God shared his son with us and for our sins. And that's why we're, we're, we're to share what he gave us. What, I, what he gives you is what you have to share. You can't share what you don't have. You know? So we share what we have, and that's what we do here at Measure Faith. And uh, you know, we want to just right now though have have just a moment of silence for those those fallen heroes and those fallen people, the soldiers that that died for this country, and those of many that died have died over the years and stuff. But you know, this great tragedy of, uh, that just happened a couple of days back and stuff. You know, uh, that they they are home today. But they, if they was in Christ, they were home the day they died. You know, the day they 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 they, they left this earth. You know, they left these bodies. When we leave these bodies, it says the absence of the body is present with the Lord. And but the day they made their journey, their bodies made their journey back home and stuff. And we just want to uh, give a moment of silence and, and a, prayer, a silent prayer for them right now. Go ahead and close. We thank you, Lord God. Bless these families of these fallen, fallen patriots, these fallen heroes, Lord God. Bless them, Lord God. Bless these families, Lord God, in their sorrow. Lord God, bring them comfort. Lord God, for the great divorce uh, and the great thing that they, as they stood in the gap for this country, as Christ stands in the gap for us today, we give you praise, glory, and honor for it. In Jesus' name. Bless God, bless God, bless. You know, I, and because I kind of went in there last week about how you know, you know, uh, everybody's wanting to blame somebody. You know, you know, we we got in a fight that we just couldn't hardly get out of. You know, 20 years trying to get out of a, a fight that wasn't ours. 
you know, it's like somebody stays in a stays in a relationship that they can't make work. You know, that God's not in it. You know, the family's all in it. <laughs> you know, so those things usually don't work. <laughs> you know, because that that union between man and that man and woman can it can only be bonded by them through God, through Christ, and through God, and through a life with Christ, and a life with God, and a life through His Holy Spirit. And so, you know, that's what's the bond. I know I've been married for 20, uh, 28 years, you know, you know, to Walmart as well as my wife. <laughs> that's a little joke there is that, you know, but God bless, you know, I'm not trying to get off on any tangent, you know, but it's a hope for giving and merciful. That's what it was about last week. You know, and that, and that saying goes on for this week as well. There's a hope there. You know, there's hope for, the, for, for this for America. But we have to be united. This country always, in adversity, always united and stood together. You know, there's such division in this country. The politics are div divided. The people are divided. You know, we can't. We have to come together in unity. We have to we have to join together and. and that's what builds communities, builds relationships, builds a, 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 a common bond between our, us and our and, 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 and with each other, and, and as well as with our enemies and stuff. But, and stuff. But uh, to let today, like I said, I, you know, I also look, you know want you to make sure you have a Bible, get a Bible. You know, you get a Bible at ChristianBook.com. I'm gonna go through these real quick. You know. I always do that, you know, so because they're good, a good resource, and you, or you can go to Walmart, as I said before, and they have Bibles. You can get everyone knows about Walmart all over the world. <laughs> over there, it, 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 with Pastor Macapu, they have D Mart. <laughs> Their Walmart is a D Mart, but there's a there's a retail store somewhere, and you can find a Bible. You might have Grandma's Bible. You know, that's that's what uh, set me off. You know, when my grandmother died. Her main thing was to have a, have a Bible for all of her kids. You know, she she made sure we all had a Bible. Everybody thought there was something in the Bible. There was some kind of riches in the Bible, and it is <laughs> the the richness of Christ's love, and that's what she wanted us to have, and she wanted us to carry on to others because that's what she was. She was a great lover of Christ. She loved Christ with all her heart, and that's what you know, and uh, and that's what I knew. And felt, and when I, and, I, and that, that's what um, drew me to, to want more of God, because I see my love of my grandmother, and I know you might have a grandmother out there too that you've seen, or a family member that you've seen the love of God in, you know, and stuff. And that's what it says that love of uh, uh, go abroad. It, 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 we we have to take that love elsewhere and everywhere and stuff. And, uh, you know, like I said, there's other many uh, pastors out there that I have pastor friends and stuff, and I, I, I know it's not enough time to, to mention all of them because I want to get this message out today. But God bless the fivefold ministry. God bless those out there today that's doing the will and purpose of God. You know, uh, and, I, and I have a great friend as well that emails me every day and posts things to me every day on Facebook. Brother Maurice Mayo, and, he, and bless him, his wife, and his, his uh, soon to be born child, and God bless him, and, the, and, the, and all that, that, that he does. He's a great, great witness to the, to the things of God and, and stuff, and he, he's preached a few times, but, but God bless him, and, and God bless that anointing on him and his, his wife and his life and his family, and God, God bless all of them and stuff, and, uh, as well as. Uh, uh, like I said, this pastor here, Pastor Mega Food, as well as Pastor um, um, San, Sandy Sandy High uh, over there, Bishop over there, as well in, in, in another part of India. Great man of God, does great works, and uh, he needs your support and prayer. If you can just pray for him, if you can't have, help him monetarily, you can just at least pray for him, for his ministry. <coughs> Excuse me. And stuff, and pray for all the pray for not just this nation. You want this nation to have great, have a, a, a great stand. We have to pray for other nations. And our prayers will go up and God said he would heal this land. You know, 
humble ourselves and pray. It's all about prayer, and that's what we have. We are we're, we're, we're vessels of honor when we pray. We become great vessels of honor when we pray and stuff. But today's message is kind of about crucified, but now I live in Him. Crucified, but now I live in Him because He came and was crucified. He He was hung on and up. It says it's a, a shame for a, a, for a man to be hung on a tree, but he was crucified. He was he was shamed, but yet he he lived. He was resurrected and lives and lives in and can live in us today, and he can live in you today as you receive him for as your Lord and Savior. But today's message, like I say, is about crucified. But now I live in him. But now I. I live in Him. And that's what you need to be. You need to be the I today. You need to be the I because the I is on you. The I is on you. And you can live and be, be that. It, 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 allow Him to live in you today. Crucify, but now I live in Him. And stuff. And that's last week we said was about a hope of forgiving and merciful. A hope that's forgiving and merciful. But we're going to go into this message today because I'm trying to get it out here real quick so I can get it online and stuff. And, and um, I got this little music playing behind me here a little bit here with the scenes of God's great, great scenes of His uh, 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 marvelous works. This just shows the great marvelous works of God. You know, the great things that, you know, we, we, we can see the, the bad things of this earth, but we can also go in and find the good things of this earth. You go in and, 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 a, and a great field of flowers or in a great forest and see the great trees in the forest and you know and, see, and hear the sounds of the forest and stuff and, and see the beauty and, and, and there's nothing like I used to like being out on the ocean because it's great and going to the going and seeing the shore the beach scenes and stuff and, and stuff and it's, it's just something the beauty of that you can see the beauty the beauty of creation. And he, he said we were created in his in his, his likeness and stuff. And we, we have that same beauty inside of us. It's called his love. And if you don't have that love today, you need that love that, uh, that he has in you and stuff. And uh, like I said, I'm going to start out with uh, going to uh, Romans 6. And we're going to go over to chapter 6 of the book of Romans. It's at the back, back of the four Gospels. And then Acts, and then Romans, and this is the this letter that Paul wrote. And Paul, and we're going to start out in, in uh, Romans six, and we're going to start in verse verse six, Romans six, verse six, and it says, "Know this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin." For he that is dead is, is freed from sin. Dead by crucifixion. That's what it meant right here. And for he that is dead is freed from sin. Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. That's believing. Right there. We believe that we shall also live with him. Not just think it. We have to believe it. A lot of people think they're they think they're saved, but you ask them, how do you know? They can't. They'll say, I, you know, I don't know. You should know. You should know that you know. It's a knowing. God puts that in you. And it says, verse 8, And if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Him. Know that Christ, being raised from the dead, verse 9, dieth no more. Death hath no more dominions over Him. For, verse 10, for in that he died, he died unto, died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. In verse 11, we're going to finish out with that one right there. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but live also, live unto God through Christ Jesus our Lord. That was 6 through 10 of, 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 of Romans. 
And that whole part of the test is about being crucified in Him. We take on His crucifixion. He told them to, he told them to, to take up their cross if they wanted to, 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 to know eternal life. They would have to take up their cross and follow Him. And to receive Him, they would have to do the same. And that's what we are doing. We receive Him through His crucifixion, through His resurrection, through that bloodshed, that atonement, that He was became that, 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 that blood stain for us. It's nothing, about, nothing like the blood stain of Christ. You know, even uh, Thomas, he was he doubted, but when he came and he felt the, the, the nail scarred hands and seen him, because he didn't he didn't believe that the other disciples, but when he seen it for himself, and you can feel it and see it in yourself today for yourself, when you receive him, he will fill you with his spirit, and you will abide in him, because we will be crucified. You will be crucified in him, crucified. But now I live in him. That's what this whole message. Crucified, but now. But now. I. There we go. We found the I. I live in him. And so, that's what we, uh, like I said, that was uh, chapter 6 of Romans 6, uh, 6 through 11. And now we're going to go over to Galatians. We're going to go over a couple more books. These are little, little letters Paul, Paul wrote, these epistles that Paul wrote to the church. And this is, that was to the Roman church, and this is to the church in Rome, and this is to the church in Galatia. We're going to go to Galatians, and we're going to go to, no, first we're going to go to uh, John. We're going to go back, we're going to go back to, we're going to go to, to the, uh, the Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. We're going to go to the, the book of John. And the book of John, we're going to go to John. And we're going to go to the 14th chapter of John. The 14th chapter of John. And he says in, in chapter 14, and we're going to read verses 19 and 20. Ye, yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. Because he knew he was going to be crucified. And that's what he, he got. This is the words of Christ. And he was telling them. And he was trying to build up their faith. And stuff. And he says, Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live. You shall also, I live, and ye shall also, you live also. At, verse 20 says, At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. It sounds a little twisted, but that's what God says. God abideth in us, and we abideth in Him. He, he, was, he said, if you've seen the Father, you've seen me. You've seen if you see me, you see the Father, because He come to do the works of the Father, and that's what we come to do: the works of God, the Father, the, the Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. We come to do those great works that He said we can do through Him, through His crucifixion, through His resurrection. We can do those because we're crucified, but now I live in Him, and if I live in Him and I abide in Him, His great works will come through me. We're vessels to be used by Him, and for for His uh, to to, to uh, build the kingdom of God. We're here to work. We're, we're, we're here at laborers laboring to build the kingdom of God for His return and stuff. And, and, and uh, if you know anyone that's uh, had a great uh, uh, loss in their family, because I I had a great loss. Just uh, found out just. A couple of days ago, I had uh, a, a nephew that died, uh, passed away from, from COVID and stuff. And, you know, this pandemic, you know, it, it, it has no mercy. Sickness has no mercy. God is an all-merciful God. And that's what we talked about, a hope, giving, and merciful. You know, we talked about that. You know, you know, sickness is not forgiving. It don't care. It has no concern, no, 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 no care for life. It'll take anyone out, you know. And we, but we know we can be crucified 
and, and Christ and live eternal. You know, it's about not this temporal thing we see around us, but the, the, the eternal things, that, those things that we, we, we strive for, those eternal things. You know, I did a message a few, not too long ago about that as well and stuff. But you can get these messages on, on Facebook and on, um, on Measure Faith Worship Center YouTube. And you can get them and go, and go back in the catalog and the archives and on my playlist and see these, and see these messages that God put on my heart to give to, to Al and stuff. And stuff. And, but yet a little while and the world seeth me no more. We don't see him, but we serve him because we know and we believe he is and was and he is a, a, he is a, 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 will come again. And when he comes again, those that are crucified in him shall shall reign with him. They shall be, we shall be with him. And then it says, because crucified, but now I live in him. Crucified, but now I live in him. And now we're going to go over to... We're going to go over to Galatians. We're going to go to the book of Galatians. And we're going to go to Galatians. The second chapter of Galatians. And we're going to go to Galatians 2. And we're going to read verse 20. Verse 2. Uh, Galatians 2. Verse 20 says... I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. You got to get a hold of that right now. We got to get a hold of crucified with Christ. I am crucified with Christ. Just like the, the, the title, crucified, but now I live in him. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I. There's two eyes. And there's a, three eyes here. And there's a, this is full of eyes. <laughs> and you need to be the eye today. Because if, if the eyes of God is on you, the, the Spirit of God should be stirring your heart. Should be stirring your spirit. And allow this message to get deep into your spirit and, and do what it needs to do. Help you to clean your life up. You know, God came. He said, all his sin comes short of glory. He sent his son to be crucified and to die just like like we talked about Abraham how Abraham you know God provided a sacrifice when he was about to, to crucify Isaac on the altar but God provided a ram in the bush and we 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 can God will provide for us as well he was that he uh, uh, sent Jesus and Jesus came and became the atonement for our for our sins, for the sins of the world. And so we're going to go to Galatians, like I said, two and twenty. Two and twenty it was, and I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live; yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. Others that see. Christ in you, they might see your sin still because of the, the, the earthly relationship you have with them. Or they might say, well, he, he's always been a bad. He can't, he can't change. They don't know the power of God. They question the power of God. Don't hear those things with your hearing ear. Hear that I but crucified but now I live, I live in, in Him. I live in Him. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, now I live in Him. I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave Himself for me. I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. And that's what we said right here. It says, ye shall live also. Ye shall live also. We said in Romans, crucify with him. We said in, 
uh, in, in Galatians, Christ liveth in me. And now we're going to go here and we're going to uh, go over to uh, 1 John. We're going back into the back of, way back in the back of the, we're going to uh, Peter and then there's 1 John, 2 John, 3 John. But we're going to go to 1 John and we're going to go to the 4th chapter of 1 John. We're going to give that scripture and then I'm going to, we're going to close out with prayer and stuff. But like I say, you know, uh, keep in prayer for this ministry. Keep in prayer for, for like I said, these, these, this, the family of these fallen soldiers and this country and this, this deadline. You know, we're not in fear of it. We just have to pray that, that the, the prayers of the saints, prayer to cover, pray coverings over the, all these these people that's over there, help them finish this evacuation, get us out of this mess, get us, get us on past this stuff. And that's what it says. We have to just get past these things. You know, and we can do that through through prayer. We can, and uniting together in prayer. The prayers of the saint mean a lot to God. And when we humble and sin and pray, God will heal our land. And that's back in the book uh, of and stuff, and we're going to go over to 1 John 4, and we're going to go, we're going to, go to, we're going to start out with verse 7, and this, because we can only do this by the love of God, we got to love our, love our, these Afghan people, we got to love, we got to love our, our, our leaders, we got to have love for them. We might not understand. We don't. We don't understand. We don't understand ourselves sometimes. You know. Sometimes we say things that we we, we realize uh, we didn't say it until we said it. You know. And they say things that they don't realize that they said it until they said it. Until they have a a, a, a fifty pound question a question and, and answer thing, and then all of a sudden they find out that they shouldn't have really said that. But you know, they say a lot of things. But that's you know. It becomes political, and sometimes we become over, overly political in what we say, because if we, we're not speaking the articles of God. We're not. We, we, that's where our truth is, is in, is in this Bible and the things that, that Christ is and, and the Spirit of God has laid out for us, and what we should do, and the way we should live, and the way we should live before all men and stuff. And uh, we're going to go. Uh, first, uh, first John, chapter four, and like I said, we're gonna start reading in verse seven. Verse seven, but beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. And he that loveth, uh, loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. In this was manifested the love of God towards us, because that God sent His only begotten Son into the world that we might live through him in other words that he sent him and he was crucified and we should be we need to be crucified but now I live in him and verse 10 says here in his love not that we love God but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No man have a sin of God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and His love is perfected in us. And that's what we want. We want that perfected love in us. Because we are crucified, but now we live in Him. We're crucified, but now I, or we, live in Him. You can add we in there or I in there. Either way you want to do it, it works. And stuff. And, uh, verse 13. Uh, Hereby now know we that dwell in him and he in us because he hath given us his spirit. And we have seen and, and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him, 
and he is in God. And he in God. And verse 16, and we have known and believed the love that God have unto us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Verse 17 says, Wherein is our love made perfect? That's perfect love again. A lot of, most people are looking for perfect love. When you find a new relationship, you want to find perfect love. You might be head over in, in, into lustful love, but you need to find perfect love. Herein are, is our love made perfect that we might uh, that we may have uh, the boldness in the days of judgment because as he is so we are so we in in this world there is no fear in love but perfect love casts out fear because fear hath torment he that feareth is not made perfect in love so we can't walk around in our fears and have, think we have a perfect love because you're gonna your hate will over override the love you can't have hate this is we cast those things on God you know we have when we go with Christ we're not in uh, walking around in fear and hate and and, and, and all that that's not those fruits that God wants us to bear and have we said we have to bear good fruit because we're a good tree but uh, we'll, planted by the rivers of water that God fer makes fertile and, 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 and helps produce the fruit on You know, our tree should be loaded with God's fruit. You know, the, 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 the fruits of the Spirit, patience, and, 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 uh, 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 love, and kindness, tenderness, well, all those things that should be in our heart. And if it's not in us, it can't come out of us. And that's why we, we allow this word that to get build, we have to build this this foundation of Christ in us by getting this word in us. And I want to finish out with verse 19. We love Him because He first loved us. We've got to remember He first loved us. That's what none of this would be here. He loved us. He created us. He and, and He He still loves us. You know, you don't never start love stop loving that child. When you have children, you, you'll always love them children because you'll see them. You won't see their sins. You don't see your sin, your child, you, you, the, this, their sins. You know, you hear and, and, and stuff, but, but you, you, you're, you're, the love that's in you tries not to see those sins and tries not to see their failures and tries not to see their uh, 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 the different things. But you, your love for that child, just like God's love for us, it tries to lead us into the path of righteousness for His name's sake, as the psalm says, and stuff. And but we, we, uh, He first know that He first loved us, you know. So if we are crucified, but now we, I live in Him. He'll live in us, and that love will be abound, uh, abounding in us and abundant in us. And we got to give it away. We have to. We have to share it. And that's what I'm talking about here with all this here and with these messages. Share these messages. Share my. Share my Facebook page. Tim Lovett, Pastor Timothy. Tim, uh, this L O V E T T. You can go find me on Facebook. I'm not hide nowhere. You can find me on YouTube at Measure Faith Worship Center playlist. Or, or, and you can pull up, you can pull that up, or you, you can pastor uh, 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 Timothy Lovett at, at, at gmail.com. You can find me there, and I, I, you know, but find the love of God first. Find the love of God. Know that we are crucified with Him, because when we're crucified with Him, that love will will, will be will. will Everyone will, will want it and want more and, 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 and draw to it, and, and God will God will reward those. It says that diligently seek Him, and that's what it's about. Because we got to know that we're sinners and that we sin and come short of His glory. And you got to uh, uh, repent of, of those sins, you know, and turn from those sins and believe that He uh, died 
on the cross and was crucified and, and shed his blood to pay the price for our sins and then he rose again on, on the third day, Romans 10 and 9. And then and, and then we got to ask him to save us and, and, and be our Savior. And said he became the Savior of the world. And that's what we have to do. we got to go back in those scriptures and, and see. If you dig in those scriptures, you'll find it. They, the love of God will, 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 will abound in you and, and give you that, and give you that, the, the, all that you, you need in your life and make your life full and whole and stuff. And, 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 and we'll pray right now a little simple prayer. You can close your eyes. You don't have to close your eyes, but mean it from your heart. Open up your heart and receive it today. He's call, if he's calling you and, and giving the allow your ears to, to hear and, say, and allow your heart to, to, to receive. Right now, Lord God, we pray right now. Those out there, Lord God, by the sign of my voice, Lord God, that they'll just receive you right now. Say with your voice, say with your mouth, Lord God, forgive me of my sins, for I know I'm a sinner. I've sinned and come short of your glory. I want you in my heart. I want to know that I'm crucified in you. I died because you died. You died for me. And I, I, I receive you, Lord God, into me right now. And into my heart. Into my spirit. Given the, the things that you, you called me to do, Lord God. Be with me. Comfort me. Give me. And I, and I know that you, 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 you uh, wash me clean and, and, and take away all my sins. And I give you the praise and my glory for all these things. In Jesus Christ's name we ask all these things. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You pray that prayer and believe it in your heart. And, and know that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. And know, and, and, and now find you a nice church to go to. If you've got a church, nice church around you, you can Zoom a church and, you know, you don't feel comfortable going to a church because of the pandemic. There's a, many churches that Zoom, you know, they got that got uh, our stream. You can get an app to, to stream a church. There's plenty of them on, on, the, on these phones. You can get a Bible app. You get that word in you every day as well. And, and I, I use BibleGateway.com. I get the most daily devotionals. And I give them away. I give them out. But you can give those things out and get those things to others and stuff. But, you know, God bless and I thank you for hearing this message today and loud. And I hope it touches someone's heart today and that you made that decision for God. And the same way you can receive healing as well today, you can heal. Just ask and, and believe it. You gotta ask, but also believe. That just He gave you that measure of faith to believe. You just have to believe. Right now, Lord God, touch anyone out there right now that has an infirmity in their body, Lord God. Touch them right now in Jesus' name. Make them well. Make them whole in Jesus' name. Send that your healing virtue to, to them right now. And same with your finances. If you're having trouble with your finances, trust God. Allow God. Give God control of your finances. Give God control of your life. You know, Allow God to be Lord over your life. And that's what it's about. Allow Him to be Lord over your life today. But God bless you. And I thank you for being here today at Mega Faith Worship Center for this video. God bless your, your Sabbath. God bless your, your coming week. Like I said, we'll be in prayer for, 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 uh, the, for the leadership of this, this country, for these other countries. Be in prayer for India and and. All the all the countries, be in prayer for those that are facing this this uh, storm. There's many storms out there, but there's a natural storm out of be a prayer for the people in Louisiana and, and stuff. And, you know, uh, there's uh, but God needs intercessors. You know, be that great intercessor of, for, for God. You know, this is when we humble and pray. You know, we have to be a, a, a constant. It says, uh, Pray without ceasing. So that means we should be there. Should be an abundance of prayer coming from from His saints. Pray, pray often, and pray with thanksgiving and supplication. For, and know that He is and He's listening. He never sleeps nor slumbers. So God bless you. God bless your day. And 
God bless your uh, 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 for being here with us. To, and God bless your 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 coming week that you have uh, uh, be in health and prosper, even as your soul prospers. God bless you. And 